Hello my fellow VSGers. This is Jote Saint on the Vertical Sleeve Talk Board. Uh, my real name is Randy and I'm here with my sidekick, Frankensleeve. After hearing some people post questions about did you name your sleeve, I thought that Frankensleeve was pretty cool for a name and then I happened to go out and find this little guy. He has a little stuffed stomach and I made up a little green headband for him with some black hair so he looks sort of like Frankenstein. He's still kind of a work in progress. Uh, he's sitting on my shelf guarding all my favorite condiments. See, there's my one source vitamins and adobo made by Badia. Uh, it's really kind of a really good all-purpose spice for chicken, beef, or turkey meat. It comes in two kinds. With this green package, doesn't have black pepper in it, and I got the red one over here, which does have black pepper in it. And I'm kind of a big black pepper fan. And one of my favorite toppings now is Frank's Red Hot Sauce, because unlike Louisiana Red Hot Sauce, it has more flavor to it and less heat. So, if you prefer a more vinegary flavor, I would say go with the Louisiana Hot Sauce. If you like less vinegary flavor and more pepper or red pepper kind of flavor, I'd go with the Frank's Red Hot. But I wanted to show y'all my dreaded enemy, the Eat Smart scale, electronic scale. I haven't ever used a different kind of scale except the, the old metal one with springs on it, and I'd still be using that, except about a year and a half ago I stepped on it and heard this loud sprunk. Then I stepped, put my other foot on the scale and heard it a sprunk again, and Apparently I broke both springs in the scale at my highest weight. And so I had to get a scale that weighed up to 400 pounds and I found this one Eat Smart on Amazon.com and it had literally hundreds of great reviews on it so I picked it up and I haven't regretted it since. The only drawback to the scale is you have to put it on a concrete surface because the, the little feet on the scale are so short that if you put it on carpet you'll most likely wind up bottoming out the scale on the carpet so the uh, the scale can't sink down on its legs where it what it uses for the pressure points to to judge your body weight so I had to move it into the living into the uh, to my kitchen where I keep it every day and I weigh on it first thing in the morning and then I weigh on it as soon as I get home in the afternoon so let me demonstrate it to you a little bit uh, it does shut itself off after about 20 seconds but you just step on it and watch it reset itself and you might be able to see my footprints on there I like to leave my dirty footprints there because I can put my feet in the exact same spot every time I'm superstitious about changing my stance on here and as you can see I'm down to 246.0 which kind of scared me at first because when I got home this evening I weighed 243 but I didn't realize that this doggone iPad mini I'm holding in my hand weighs about two pounds, so I felt better about that. And as you can see, it's already cut off, so it saves the batteries. I haven't had to change the batteries in this since I got it more than a year ago, going almost two years now, so the batteries really hold up in it. And it's a really reliable little scale. And if you're looking for just a simple scale that will weigh up to 400 pounds, you really can't go wrong with this one. It's a, I think I paid like 60 or 70 dollars for it on Amazon and like I said it had hundreds of reviews and I'm a big believer in buying products that have at least 100 reviews or more on Amazon you know because if that many people took the time and effort to write a good review on it then it's got to be a good product anybody can get mad and write a bad review so when a product is good and has that kind of, that many reviews then I believe in it so it was a good purchase it was worthwhile. I didn't need a scale that had like body fat measurements or any kind of fancy gizmos or anything like that. So if you're looking for just a, a good basic scale that has a digital readout and has a really good battery life, I'd say go with the Eat Smart scale. This is Joe Saint and Frankensleeve saying goodbye from VSG Land.